I love when coaches, consultants, and professional service providers want to do big things in their business. They want to rise to the top and influence their market and the world around them. They want to have a greater impact and make a more lucrative income. Well, if this is you, welcome to Expert in You Podcast, the show where I interview other experts and coaches, consultants, so that they can share their success strategies with you. We're going to talk about marketing and how to close more sales, how to get more premium clients, and how to really build your visibility in the market and scale your business like a boss. If this is you, welcome to the show. I want to ask you to subscribe and hit the notification bell right now so you don't miss one episode. Grab your coffee and buckle up because we are ready to give it all to you to help you become the expert and get paid as the expert that you are. Would you like to make LinkedIn work for you to build your consulting, coaching, or professional services business? Well, this week, we're going to talk about all things LinkedIn. So welcome to the show. I love LinkedIn. I think it's one of the most amazing platforms that you can use to build your consulting, coaching, or professional services business, especially if you're looking for people in the professional space. So when I'm talking about the professional space, I'm talking about CEOs, directors, managers, uh, nonprofits, high-level employees that are maybe making over six figures, people that you want to reach that maybe would be difficult to reach any other way. But LinkedIn can also be some place where people get frustrated because it's not quite as engaging as, say, Facebook. And it does require a specific strategy to really make LinkedIn work. So this is what I want to share with you today. How can you make LinkedIn work to grow your business? Well, the first thing I want you to think about is there are so many ways to use LinkedIn. You know, it used to be it was a platform for... uh, recruiting and for people looking for jobs. But LinkedIn has evolved immensely through the years. And now it is the number one business platform in the world. And the thing that makes it so great is people are there to do business. That's their purpose. Uh, Of course, they're there to connect, but they're ultimately they are there to do business. It's very different from other social media platforms. For example, if you think about Facebook, business people have kind of invaded Facebook with their ads and with their Facebook groups and all the things that they're trying to do to build their business. But Facebook is still a social media platform. People are there to have fun, to connect, to network, to uh, see what their family is doing. And there's all kinds of reasons people are on Facebook. But LinkedIn isn't really like that. LinkedIn is really kept as a professional space. So it makes it very unique. Now, there are over, I think, close to a billion users on LinkedIn the last time I checked, and the average income is over six figures a year. So that is much higher than a lot of the other social media platforms. And I think that's an important factor to know, especially because in my business, I'm helping people get and close higher paying clients, get those ultra premium clients to really grow their business. And so being in a place where there is money is a big piece of this. But how can you really make LinkedIn work? The first thing is you need to discover or figure out, I should say, what your strategy is going to be. How are you going to use LinkedIn? Now, you can certainly change how you use it, but you have to think of each way that you're using LinkedIn as an individual campaign as an individual marketing campaign. And the reason I say that is because you need to have a strategy behind what you're doing. Otherwise, you're just going to be out there throwing a bunch of stuff at the walls to see what sticks, and it's probably not going to work for you. So when I talk about a strategy, let's say, for example, I want to get people on my podcast. Well, then I could reach out to people on LinkedIn. I could invite them to be on my podcast, which is exactly what I do. And that would be my strategy, right? Now, my podcast, there's a reason why I want people on my podcast. And what's the strategy? So you have to think about this. If you want to get on stages, you could uh, use LinkedIn to make connections and build relationships with people who are running events and running conferences and putting people on stages. If you want to get into corporations, Who would be the people that could get you in front of the right person to get you into that corporation to maybe do your training or 
share you offer your services and so this is the piece with the strategy who do you want to connect with what is it you're trying to accomplish and then you can put the tactics in place to actually reach these people so figure out the strategy the strategic approach that you're going to use and then you want to optimize your profile for those people so I have a client that does white label video editing and she works with other agencies and she has she's building a whole business around being a white label partner to video edit but she's a very professional company she's been in the business for 20 plus years and so she would want to optimize her profile for the people that she's trying to attract so if she's trying to attract other agencies to her business to use her for their video editing, then she would want to make sure that her headline and her profile is optimized and set up for them. Everything that she's done is relevant to what it is they would want. Now, it's important that people can come and see your profile, check you out, and get a lot of questions answered. If you don't have your profile optimized, you will lose the opportunity to connect with the right people. You'll burn up leads, you won't get the traction that you want. And so optimizing your profile for your ideal clients, being relevant to them, and then also setting it up so that your content and everything speaks right to them is the first step to really making LinkedIn work behind getting a good strategy in place. The next thing you want to do is really determine who it is you want to connect with. And you can go and build a list in Sales Navigator. If you're not familiar with Sales Navigator, there are a lot of great videos out there on YouTube where you can find out more about Sales Navigator. And I've talked about Sales Navigator in other podcasts as well. But it is a way that you can actually go in and you can build a detailed list of exactly who you're looking for. And it is just a platform like no other that gives you these tools and these opportunities that you just don't have in other places. So you build the list of the people that you want to connect with. And once you do that, you could, if you're looking for a partnership and not trying to sell your services, so to speak, you can reach right out to people in Messenger once you connect with them, or even if you don't connect with them, and and say you're looking for a partner just like them because. So when you're not selling your services and you're trying to partner with people, they're very receptive to those types of messages because, again, a lot of people are on LinkedIn to find those alliances, those JV partnerships, Uh, those partners. And so you can typically reach right out to them and ask them those questions. If you're looking for clients, though, you're looking to actually sell your services, there are a couple of different ways you can leverage LinkedIn. You can work through your existing connections and reach out to them and ask them if they know someone who would be interested in XYZ, whatever it is you're trying to sell, and then also offer them value. What are they looking for? How can you be of value to them and how can you refer business to them? So make it a two-way street and you'll, again, have people that are very open and very receptive to this, especially if your profile is optimized and you look like you're, looks like there's value in being connected to you. So this is the first step. The second thing is if you are looking for clients, you can also be strategic in who else is in front of those ideal clients. So you can go and look at your connections and see, you know, I like to say build your dream list. Build your dream list of the people that could be your perfect ideal clients. Find out who is connected to those people that you're also connected to and you can reach right out and ask for if you, they know them, do you know so-and-so? I see that they're in your network. I would love to have a connection with them. I would love to meet them. Could you make that connection? Again, people on LinkedIn are very open to this type of conversation and making connections. I've had people reach out and say, Anne, I see that so-and-so is in your network. I would love to meet them, and I've made that connection. Even if you don't know the other person real well, the fact that you're in the same network and the fact that you're reaching out on behalf of someone else, people are very open and receptive to that. 
The other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're adding value to people that could be potential clients. So once again, you've got a strategy. You could reach right out and say, you know, I was looking at your profile and I was seeing what you do. And here's an article that I wrote or here's a podcast that I just released that I thought you might find interesting and valuable. And I think it uh, could even offer you some tips and some tricks that might do XYZ. So go in and provide value for people. There's just so many ways that you can leverage LinkedIn to get it working for you. Now, I want you to understand though that sales come from conversations. And one of the things that I really encourage people, my clients to do when they're looking for clients and they're looking to really grow their business is to get into 10 conversations a week. I tell them, if you can get into 10 conversations a week, you've been very strategic about the people that you're choosing to get into conversations with. They can either refer business to you, they can either be a a partnership and get you in front of your ideal clients, or they could be a client. If you think about that checklist and you get on calls with people that are in, they could fill one of those needs, and you're strategic about who you have conversations with, if you got into 10 conversations a week, things would massively take off in your business. You could probably get one to two clients a week, or you could at least get in front of your ideal clients. There are so many ways to leverage this. So if you realize that the conversations are where sales are made, where referrals happen, where partnerships come alive, where strategic alliances happen, then it is your goal to get into as many conversations as you can. Now, I also love to use engagement as a strategy. So if there's someone that I, they're on my dream list that I think they could be a great client or a great partnership or get me on a stage. And so I have a reason behind really building a relationship with this person, you want to use a strategic approach and go and let them see you and touch their business. Uh, Look at their content, make comments on their content, engage with them, get into a conversation. And then once you do that and you become a familiar person to them, now it makes it much simpler for you to go and reach out to them and get into a conversation. And I love to do the 20 minute call strategy where Again, you want to be strategic because you don't have time to get on calls with every single person if you have anything going on in your business at all. You want to be strategic into what you do, but I love the 20-minute conversation where they talk about their business, you talk about your business, and then you determine how can we be valuable to each other. And this is where the ask comes in. I'm looking for so-and-so for this. And what are you looking for? And this is where you can share that information and then see how you can help them and hopefully they'll be able to help you. So this is really how you use LinkedIn. But the other piece of it is you've got to be consistent. Relationships come with time. And you've also got to think about not just the short game on LinkedIn, but also the long game on LinkedIn. You don't want to burn up relationships. I've made this mistake. I don't know if I burned relationships, but I made the mistake where I hired marketers to basically, I guess if you want to say spam people, uh, which you know didn't ever feel very good. And I I know that a lot of professionals have made this mistake through the years and I had to take a step back and say I don't love this approach I don't like what it does I don't want it to hurt my brand I'm really here uh, to build relationships to give value to build my business but I don't want to burn up leads I don't want to burn relationships and burn bridges along the way and so I took a step back from those types of tactics that most of us you know we've made those mistakes and we've fallen into that trap and just be very careful about those kinds of strategies because they don't work real well number one and they really do hurt your brand I believe in the long in the long term so again if you're building a sustainable business 
business, you want to think not just about the, the here and now. How can I get a client right now? How can I build that partnership? How can I get on a stage? How can I get in, on a podcast? Don't just think about now, but also think about the long game. How can I build long-term relationships where these could really turn into something, where we could pass referrals, we could network together, and, and we really uh, become friends, so to speak, business acquaintances, but at a higher level. If you can leverage LinkedIn in this way, it will be a gold mine for your business. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Look, at the end of the day, think about this. 10 conversations a week can help you grow your business. If you're strategic, if you've done all the things that I've talked about, you've set up your profile, you've optimized it, you've got a strategy in place, now make LinkedIn work for you. But you've got to take action, you've got to be consistent, and you can't give up. It takes some time to do it. Sometimes things might happen really, really quick. If you get into conversations, and those you can get into really fast, but referrals and clients and those things might come over time as you nurture relationships with people. But again, it's a long game. So you've got now, but also what do you have in the future? How can you build this up to be an incredible platform for you and your marketing system to grow your business? So I hope this has been helpful. Look, if you need help, building your business and LinkedIn is a place where you really want to be and you want it to work for you, then book a call with me because this is one of the things that I do with my clients as part of their marketing system. We have to get a system in place and we have to get them positioned well in the market. But when you do this and you get it in place, it can really be an incredible system for your business that can feed your pipeline where you never have to worry about where your next client is coming from. You can book a call at acardon.com and we'll talk about my services and how I can help you make LinkedIn work to grow your consulting, coaching, or professional services business. Until next week, you have an amazing day. And let me know what you thought about this video and if it was helpful for you. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed this episode, I want to invite you to go check out a free training that I have at expertinu.us. It is a training that I have on how you can get ultra premium dream clients, scale your business, get more freedom, and really simplify your business and multiply your money. So go check that out. And again, that is expertinu.us. I want to thank you for being here with me this week. I hope you found massive value. Please always leave a comment, feedback, or a question. We check them all. And I want you to go rock your business and make sure you join us again next week. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.